Looking at the bulkhead of the trailer here, we want to make sure there's no excessive holes, no missing rivets. Moving up to the front corner, the marker light, we want to make sure it's amber in color because it's front and side facing. It is not cracked, broken, or damaged, and in working order. Moving down to the side of the trailer, we're going to take a look at the rivets for our cross members, making sure they're all in place and there's no crack damage or missing cross members. As we start down the side of the trailer, we're going to check our reflective tape. We need 50% of the side of the trailer covered in DOT reflective tape. Moving on to our landing gear, we're going to make sure that our landing gear arm is stored and in the lock position. Moving down, making sure that the landing gear plate is secured, it's not cracked, broken, or damaged. Checking the cross members, making sure they're all in place, no crack, missing, or broken cross members. Checking our floorboards, making sure there's no holes or damaged floorboards. That would indicate a weak floor. As we continue down the side of the trailer here, we are going to stop and check out the side marker light. This will function as turn signal as well as the four-way hazards. As we continue down, we're going to stop and take a closer look at our tires here. Taking a closer look at the back end of our trailer here, we're going to slide up underneath here and take a closer look at our sliding tandems. First, we're going to check the hoses. We want to make sure that they're up off the ground, a minimum of 18 inches, making sure they can't catch on anything. Taking a look at our locking arm, we want to make sure that the locking arm is in the lock position. It is not cracked, broken, or damaged. Following that locking arm, we're going to take a look at our sliding rail, making sure it is straight. It is not cracked, broken, or damaged. Taking a look at our brake system here, we're going to start off with our hoses, making sure there's no cuts, bulges, or abrasions in them with no audible leaks. Moving down to our brake chambers, making sure they're properly secured. They're not cracked, broken, or damaged with no audible leaks. Moving out to our brake drums, making sure it's perfectly round. It's not cracked, broken, or damaged with no oil, grease, or debris. And then moving to the inside of our rim, we want to make sure it's perfectly round, no illegal welds. Now we're going to move inside to our shock absorber. We want to make sure they're properly fastened. It's not cracked, broken, or damaged, or leaking. And moving inside, finally, we're going to take a look at our airbags. We want to make sure they're properly inflated. There's no cuts, bulges, or abrasions on them with no audible leaks. As we come to the back of the trailer, we're going to check out our side corner light, making sure it's red in color because it's at the rear of the trailer. Moving around to the back, taking a look at the top of our trailer, we're going to look at our marker lights. We've got our corner lights on the outside, our three width indicator lights on the middle, making sure they're not cracked, damaged, or broken, and they're all in working order. As we move down, we're going to check out our door, making sure it's functioning. It's not cracked, damaged, or broken. Taking a look at our door latch, making sure it's locked in place and the latch functions properly. We are going to take a look at our DOT reflective tape, and we're going to make sure that it covers 100% of the rear of the trailer. Moving on to our ICC bumper or DOT bumper, making sure it's properly secured. It's not cracked, broken, or damaged, or falling off. As we move down, we're gonna take a look at our lights. We're gonna have our running lights, our brake lights, and our turn signal. We wanna make sure they're clean, they're working properly, and that the turn signal also functions as the four-way hazards. And then we move to our license plate. We wanna make sure that it's in place, it's up to date, it's clean and the rear light is working and functioning. 